What the pregnant woman gave birth to left everyone in shock. But the worst was when it was known who the father was. That day everything was happiness and bliss for Mary, a 37 years old Brazilian woman who was eager because she would finally become a mother. And even more so because the father of her firstborn was the perfect man. According to her own words, Marcelo, her partner, was a handsome, honest, sincere, and very affectionate man with her. The birth would be at her mother's house. Many relatives were present for such a memorable event. There were even relatives who arrived from abroad just to meet the new little angel. All the guests present were eager, they wanted to meet the new family member. But fortunately, they didn't have to wait long, as barely half an hour later, the nurse came out of the room with the newborn, leaving everyone speechless. Everyone was greatly shocked when they saw that what the nurse brought in her arms was nothing more and nothing less than a rag doll. They all looked at each other without understanding how it was possible that Mary had given birth to a rag doll. The relatives watched in surprise what was happening, many of them were upset, thinking it was a mockery, others that it was a joke, but some saw the sweet scene of how there was a new member in that home. The nurse carrying him in her arms said, Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you little Marcelino, his mother is very well after labor. She will soon recover. Her partner was by her side helping to give birth to this little and beautiful angel. But what is this, a mockery? said one of the elderly present. Mary's mother, with eyes full of love, saw the little one gesturing to the nurse to pass him so she could hold him. However, the nurse didn't let go. He's my little grandson, the fruit of my daughter and her partner's love. Show some respect, she said. The attendees couldn't believe what they saw. The nurse skillfully and carefully held the little rag doll, showing it to anyone who wanted to see. After a while, Mary's grandmother took him and kissed him on the forehead, whispering words of love to the new family member. Bewildered, all the relatives who had arrived watched the scene as if it were from a movie. Some thought it was terrifying, while others laughed, thinking it was a joke. My cousin has lost her mind, someone said with a loud laugh. This must be a strange joke, but a joke nonetheless. Why do you say it's a joke? If Mary says it's her son, then it is. A new family member is a reason for great joy. Everyone needs to calm down, there must be an explanation. Please, explain what's going on here. Some of us traveled for hours to see this joyful event only to find this little one. And we don't know where he came from. What do you mean you don't know? This is my daughter's firstborn, the product of love with her husband, whom she loves for being the perfect partner for her, Mary's mother explained. All the attendees remained confused by what had happened. The door to the happy couple's room begins to open. All the relatives of the new mother eagerly await who could emerge from the room. Sitting in a wheelchair, Mary emerges, pushed by one of the nurses who attended the birth of her firstborn. By her side is something that left Mary's relatives even more stunned. Their eyes wide with disbelief. Mary is dressed in a maternity gown, the nurse in her surgical uniform. And beside them, holding Mary's hand, is the partner of the new mother, Marcelo, the man who enamored the 37 years old woman. The incredible part of the situation is that Marcelo was made of the same material as their son. The love of Mary's life, to everyone's terror, a rag doll. One of the guests who had come from abroad just to witness the memorable event was astounded by what she saw and, after a moment, said, I came all this way for this? Mary, explain what's happening this is impossible i think you owe us an explanation this is madness impossible to believe it seems like a tasteless joke let her speak said another of the attendees if she loves that man if you can even call him that well it's her life her decision but she should have warned us not to be so surprised you should be happy for my daughter who finally found love now she sees her family complete with this little one the product of their union. But has she gone mad? This is a mockery, I insist. Some of us came from very far away to encounter this scene as absurd as a rag doll being the love of her life. And someone explained to me also how they could have a rag doll as a child. For God's sake, I don't know if I'm delirious anymore. I'm very happy for my cousin. If you're happy, I'm happy too, said the cousin of the new mother, approaching to give her a hug. 
After hearing both congratulations and complaints from her relatives, Mary finally spoke. She indicates to the nurse and her husband that they want to sit on the sofa in the living room of the house. The woman slowly leads her and her partner to the indicated place. Helping Mary, who moves with difficulty due to the birth of her son, she sits next to her partner Marcelo, embracing him and giving him a kiss on the forehead a tender scene that makes some sigh and many others present in that heated place disgusted. Oh God, I feel like I'm going to vomit. Can someone pass me a bag, please, said one of the elders, and immediately vomited, splattering several of the already scandalized guests. This must be the work of the devil himself who wants to make a sin by accepting such an aberration. Let's all pray so that the bad vibes leave this wretched place, another exclaimed. The attendees were increasingly upset, some totally in favor and others extremely angry against such a disturbing situation. Voices were getting louder, it was chaos, fights were breaking out one after another when suddenly, Mary took the floor and said, Gentlemen, ladies, your attention please, you are my family, and I thank you with all my soul for coming here today. You must understand that this is my decision and Marcelo is the love of my life since I met him. Love at first sight, you should be happy for me, for my first child, who is the product of a very beautiful relationship. By the way, family, you've already met my son Marcelino, he looks like his dad. Although I must say I also did my part. Mom, give him to me, I want to hold him. All present remained amazed by everything that was happening, they could only be there observing the scene. Although they remained divided, there were those who were angry and those who were happy for the couple. They recorded the moment when the nurse came out with the little one. Can you pass him to me, please? I'm going to post it on my social media. I'm very proud of this moment. Upon hearing Mary, some of her relatives embraced the happy couple, while others looked at them with anger and gradually left the house still not understanding what was happening to that woman by being with a rag doll and her son made of the same material. The angry and humiliated relatives expressed to Mary's mother that they would not return to the place until the woman came to her senses, for them. It was madness what was happening in the place. You should help Mary come to her senses, not encourage her to continue with this degenerate madness. When she no longer thinks that way, call me again, I'll answer you, her cousin said. Yes, they love her, if she's happy, I am too, it's her life, what I have to do is love her as she is her partner, and her son, they added. The unusual gathering ended, and everyone left incredulous that their senses had deceived them with what they saw. But everything had been true. Mary was happy with her partner and their first child, Marcelino, whether they liked it or not. That was the reality, and everyone was witness to it. Several months passed. The family lived very happily in a routine that was very comfortable for everyone. Until their story reached the media, Journalists began to search for the woman who fell in love with a rag doll and had her first child also made of cloth. Who was already several months old. Throughout Brazil, her story became known. Mary spent many years searching for love, had several relationships that disappointed her a little, as she recounted to her cousin Kate in the living room of her house. One of the few who supported her throughout her love story. Nobody understands me, Kate, but Marcelo is the love of my life. He's a breath of fresh air among so many men who deceived me. I hadn't been lucky in love until I met him. Cousin, I'm very happy for you. That's why I support you and visit you whenever I can to see that little rascal Marcelino. Tell me, how did you and Marcelo meet? For many years, I was in search of love. Man after man, they disappointed me more and more. But I continued with the dream of finding the love of my life with whom I could have a great family until one day I met Marcelo. You can't imagine, cousin, it was love at first sight. When I saw his blue eyes, that beautiful face, I couldn't contain myself. Marcelo is the perfect man. What do you mean, the perfect man, cousin? Marcelo makes me very happy. He doesn't mistreat me, always listens to me attentively, doesn't get bored with my stories. He's very quiet, doesn't interrupt me when I speak. Attentive, affectionate, that's something you don't understand. Family, but he must have a flaw. Cousin, the perfect man, we know he doesn't exist. Only in the movies, 
The only flaw is that he's not made of flesh and bone like us. But of cloth, but he's the love of my life. Nobody believes me, but Marcelo makes me very happy. I can dance with him, swim, cook for him, he's everything I wanted. Months before the sweet event, Marcelo and Mary, after having a beautiful courtship, got married in a civil ceremony. They also invited a large part of their relatives to the joyful moment. The wedding took place at the woman's house. Near Mary's house, all the woman's relatives were there dressed up according to the event they were going to experience. There were decorated tables throughout the backyard of the house, and also an adorned arch where, on one side, Marcelo, a rag doll dressed in a suit and tie, was seen. Mary's relatives couldn't believe what they saw, although they stayed there to find out what that doll was doing standing where the groom should be. A few minutes later, the radiant bride, beautiful in her wedding dress, comes out of the house and walks to where Marcelo is, looking at him with eyes of love and promise. The bewildered relatives watch the scene and start talking to each other. Ladybug is going to marry that rag doll, apparently because there's the person who will marry them. How can her mother agree to this nonsense? Mary looks beautiful in her wedding dress. She did such a beautiful makeup. Whoever I tell this story to won't believe me, so I won't bother telling anyone. One of the guests says with a big laugh. The person officiating the wedding commands silence from the attendees to begin the ceremony. The happy couple takes each other's hand to recite their vows filled with eternal love. At the end of the ceremony, everyone left Mary's home without celebrating the moment with her, fearing they would not tell the rest of their family members so they wouldn't laugh at them. Shortly after the civil ceremony, Mary announced to all her relatives that she was pregnant with her first child, the product of her love with her perfect man Marcelo, who made her believe in love again, starting a family filled with respect and understanding. On the big day, she invited them to her home to experience that beautiful moment with her. Those who attended the civil ceremony did not mention anything to those who did not attend, leaving them as surprised as they were with Marcelino's birth. The story of Mary and her beloved Marcelo became known throughout Brazil. The young woman chose to share her story of love and happiness on social media, where it was seen by journalists. On social media, they saw the woman and her partner sharing loving moments, dining at a restaurant, and strolling in the park with their little Marcelino. After the wedding, Marcelo went on a honeymoon to the city of Rio de Janeiro, where cameras captured beautiful moments of the couple. Brazilians began to follow Mary on her social media to learn more details about their entire love story. We need to find this woman to hear firsthand how she fell in love with Marcelo, what it feels like to be Marcelino's mother, and what it was that made her fall in love with her partner. What a beautiful love story. Who introduced them? When one gets disappointed in men, this is what happens, but look at how they sell themselves as lovers. How there are people who play along with this woman's story. Is it true? It seems like a joke from this whole story. Shortly after learning the fantastic love story, a group of journalists arrived at Mary's house to learn more about the impressive story of the woman who married a rag doll and had a child. Everyone in Brazil wanted to meet her. So they went there, at the door of the house. They were greeted by Mary's mother because her daughter and husband were working. She was there taking care of little Marcelino so he wouldn't be alone while his parents worked. The media asked Mary's mother how the love story began, and she recounted the story of her daughter and her rag doll husband. They also wanted her to tell them about the birth of her grandson. Little Marcelino, who came into this world in the family home with doctors and nurses present. As all of this could be seen on their social media. Good afternoon, ma'am, excuse me. But could you tell us about Mary's story, how she met Marcelo, and don't leave out any details. Where did she see him? How was that first encounter? There are many people who don't believe your daughter's story. What do you say to those who criticize her relationship? Well, gentlemen, people don't know what they're talking about because they weren't there from the beginning like I was. They should mind their own lives instead of harshly criticizing my daughters. Even though she lives her love story without caring what others say. I lived with my daughter for many years. I saw her suffer because of men every time a relationship ended. She would come crying and suffering from lovesickness. 
She just wanted a partner who understood her, loved her, and danced with her until dawn. One day, tired of seeing her suffer, I started making Marcelo. I made him with all the characteristics she told me a man had. Fair skin, intense blue eyes, chestnut hair, mustache, and always well-dressed. After a short time, secretly from her so she wouldn't see. I built him, then I sat him in the living room and called her to her room. Telling her there was a man who wanted to meet her. At first, she didn't want to leave her room, she thought it was just another one of the suitors she was used to and tired of. But I told her that this one was different and could be the perfect man for her. What she replied was that it was impossible, that she had no luck in love, and that she didn't want to meet any man anymore. After several minutes of convincing her to come out and meet Marcelo, she finally did, she saw him sitting there on the couch, and a big smile spread across her lips, her eyes shining with joy. She immediately fell in love with Marcelo. She said, Mom, you were right, he's the perfect man, he'll be the father of my children. How long passed from the first encounter until they got married? They only had a civil wedding, will they have a church wedding? The journalist's questions continued, however, Mary's mother raised her hand and said, well, they met and had a short courtship. A few months later, we started preparing for the wedding, as they have to work, they haven't had their honeymoon yet. With Marcelino's arrival, they don't have much free time, I couldn't say if they will have a church wedding, if they are allowed. They will, they love each other, I think I've told you everything, if you want to know more, you should ask them, if they come later when they finish their work, you can talk to them so that people who criticize them can see the love between them. All of Brazil sees Mary's story in the media. Marcelo thinks it's an incredible relationship that she's already in love with a doll. The couple appears on various interview programs to share their great love. But opinions remain divided, just like her family's. Many of those who read the news think the woman may suffer from mental problems. They don't understand how a woman in her right mind can be in love with a rag doll. Others, discussing the story, argue with their friends that Mary possibly has some trauma from a failed relationship with a real man. There are also those who, upon learning of her love story, sigh at seeing how in love they are in the interviews, that Marcelo is perfect, and that Marcelino, her son, behaves very well at home. Upon knowing about it in the media, Mary begins to publicize her love for Marcelo more frequently on her social networks. She shares her day-to-day -day life with the world on her TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube accounts. In them, her millions of followers can see how she and Marcelo go to work. As well as their daily life with Marcelino, Mary's followers were very worried when they learned that the little one had health problems and had to be in the hospital. Shortly after, his mother announced that everything was fine with her little one. A few days later, when her little one was back home, a friend of Mary's named Catalina appeared at her house. Catalina asked if they could have a coffee in her living room. The woman had news for her friend that she didn't know how she would take it. Tell me, Catalina, how's your life? I couldn't talk to you these days because I had Marcelino a little sick. We were at the hospital until he got better. One question. Mary, was Marcelo with you that day? The poor thing had to work. He was very worried about our son. But he didn't have time. I was with the little one taking care of him. You know, that's also work. Mom, I don't know how you're going to take the news. But I saw Marcelo that day. Friend, where did you see him? Enough beating around the bush. Tell me what happened. Catalina was very worried about telling her friend. The last thing she wanted was to break her heart. Well. Friend, here it goes, I saw Marcelo entering a hotel with another woman that day. I couldn't believe what my eyes were seeing. So I approached, and it was definitely him. I can't believe it, friend, Marcelo is my perfect man. And that day you tell me about was when our son was in the hospital. I'll talk to him, I want to hear it from his own mouth. That night, Mary's followers learned that she had a strong disagreement with her husband. She explained what happened. Marcelo had been unfaithful after a couple of years. And she didn't know what to do with that information. She didn't want to deprive her little one of his father. Besides, Marcelo, when she talked to him, seemed very repentant for what he did. He was very quiet, 
but she always knew what he was thinking and how he felt. Shortly afterward, she announced on her social networks that she and Marcelo had managed to reach an agreement. After several days, they made peace for the sake of their love and their son. TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube users who follow Mary witnessed the woman's decision, proudly displaying something that surprised them. I'm very excited about what's happening in my family. For several months, Marcelo had mentioned that he wanted more children. When we had the second one, I would just tell him, someday, because all my attention was on little Marcelino. But for several days now, I haven't been feeling very well. I've had nausea and dizziness several times. So, ladies and gentlemen, in front of you all, I'm going to take a pregnancy test to see if we'll be giving him another sibling. Surprise, Marcelo will be a father again. The first time she took the test on her social networks, it came out negative, so Mary continued her normal life, posting videos of her dancing with her husband, celebrating her son's birthday, reminiscing about their honeymoon in Rio de Janeiro, all the while constantly remembering that they were still in search of their second child. Mary decided to forgive her husband's infidelity so that her family could remain as happy as they've been since she met her perfect man. Marcelo, the one who treats her well, always listens to her, the man she dances with until dawn and lovingly raises their child. He had a little slip up, but she's sure it won't happen again. As the months passed, Mary continued to feel unwell, so she decided to take the pregnancy test again. Well, ladies and gentlemen, second attempt, let's see if I'm going to be a mother for the second time. Here we go, with excited screams. Mary announces that she'll have her second little one. I can't believe it, my marriage will be blessed with a second angel. I'll tell Marcelo. A few days later, Mary announced that she would have a little girl. To have a pair of children. Excited and happy to continue her love story with her husband Marcelo. Who promised he would never cheat on her again. On her social networks, users can continue the story of the family. Now four members strong, the little pair of siblings. About a year apart, Mary and Marcelo's little girl was born just like Marcelo. At home, surrounded by their family, who brought even more happiness than they already had. After watching the story above, do you have any thoughts? Feel free to share your opinions in the comments section. If you enjoyed our video, please like, subscribe, and share our channel. That all about today's story. See you next time.